Hi, hi. So, so Cole Art is here, and before any of you get any ideas or assumptions, this video is not sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. I just really like their latest character that they put out. So, the character I'm drawing is said character. There's like two characters that released, uh, but I have um, seemingly fallen in love with Dr. Ratio, the candid or self-centered intellectual. He's a pretty boy, and I like pretty boys. So when I saw Hunkai Star Rail's designs, I was just like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. And then I saw him, this absolute beefcake, and I was just like, oh, I, I like this. I would like to draw more of this. It was kind of unexpected, honestly, because like, I've seen Genshin Impact characters, and I'm like, oh, those are some pretty designs, but I've never been compelled to make artwork for it. But Dr. Ratio? <sighs> Honkai Starbell, you got me. You did. You you done did it. You got me. I'm now I'm now into the game. I'm investigating. I haven't played it yet because I I have poor impulse control. So I try to avoid playing gacha games or games that have like payment methods in progression because I know that I will go for it and Sometimes when you know that you're not good at self-control, you just avoid doing that thing in general, which isn't, you know, a bad thing. It's something I work on. And the way I work on it is by not playing the game. That doesn't mean you can't play the game. That just means that I will just av avoid playing it. I will enjoy watching gameplays of other people doing it and it gives me a chance to watch you know more youtube content that i wouldn't usually watch i'm not saying i don't watch my fair share of gameplay videos but i haven't really got into these gotcha adventure games but i might look into it now but yeah so this entire video is just going to be my this is my lock screen or home screen right now and now when I unlock my phone, I get to look at his pretty face, which is saying something because my lock screen and my home screen both used to be Wanho, but now, now Dr. Ratio is my home screen. And that's, that's a pretty big order to fill, to be a favorite character that I put you as my home screen. Like he climbed the ranks. He shot straight past it and was like, I'm here now, but a little bit about Dr. Ratio. Uh, I did a little bit of like research and looking into the character because I'm not obsessed. I just like it a lot, okay? I don't have a problem. You have a problem. But his name is, and I'm going to butcher this, Dr. Verantis Ratio. I will have it on screen. He's considered a um, little self-centered, but he's a part of the... Intelligentsia Guild. I will once again have these written on screen. This is information I got from the Honkai Star Rail wiki. And he likes to conceal his face with a plaster mask or a sculpture that he made, which you can see he's holding in one of his hands. And before anyone points out, yes, I know his outfit is wrong. That's intentional. I do love all the details that go into certain character designs, but I can be the first to admit it. I'm not good at drawing all those details, and sometimes I don't want to. So I kind of simplified slash changed his outfit to something inspired by what he wears in the game, but not exactly that. So I leaned a little bit more into the Greek toga aesthetic that he has going on. And I kind of just showed a lot more skin than he usually shows in his outfit. But I've seen that banner that came out with him. He shows skin tastefully. You know, it's nothing inappropriate, but it is, you know, he is really Greek inspired. I can say that. And this isn't like my usual process that I do things, but I wanted to try something new. Now, personally, I did 
make his face a little different because I know with the games a lot of the characters faces look the same to me so I gave him more of a broader face with like a hooked or crooked nose bridge I forget how to say it or what words to use for it but I put he got a bigger nose and like a bigger bridge for it so I thought it would look cute I also gave him little little fangs for his teeth because I just once again, I'm doing things that I like, so it's, you know, a lot of headcanons are going on here, and that's okay. I'm enjoying things as I will. I don't have much to say about the line art process. I kind of just went for it with Procreate. I don't sketch on Procreate because I don't have, like, a proper stylus, so sketching is difficult for me, so I just sketch on paper, scan it take a photo of it and do all of my line art and coloring on my tablet so you know the process goes by really quickly i'm just gonna let you guys vibe to the music and i'll be right back once we get to the coloring process
welcome back. Did you enjoy the line art? I know I did, but I actually liked the coloring a lot more. It was really fun. I tried out this new rendering technique for skin with different like blend modes. So it's the first time I've done it and I really like how it came out. It really made him come to life in a way. I tried using different pinks and oranges to push and pull the I'm trying to avoid saying flesh. <laughs> so like the skin tones. Those little circles you actually see at top are colors I picked off of a mood board. Or like some screenshots that I gathered from Google of him in the game. So you will see it pop up here and there as I go back to reference it. Because I really wanted to make it look like him even though he's not dressed in what he's like recognized to be wearing in the game. I struggled a lot with the hair. I just didn't know how I wanted to shade it. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I like how it looked in the end, but I I really want to find like a special way to shade hair. But it turned out well and I'm happy. Oh, there it is. So I really wanted to, you know, make the colors look as closely as they do to the game since most of everything he's wearing does not <laughs> but I liked how vibrant I was able to make everything which was something that I I draw him traditionally and color matching with alcohol markers to digital characters is sometimes frustrating because I want to get that exact color and sometimes I don't have it but when I do digitally I can get the colors to look just right. I do really like the detailing I did for all of the gold bits for his armor and his outfit. And then here for his shawl, I changed that pattern the most. I I was not, you know, burning my brain trying to figure it out. So I just made like a simple triangle pattern that I thought would complement the rest of his outfit. But yeah, there's not much I can say because I kind of just colored things how I thought light would hit it and what shadows I thought would look the best. I do really like how the stone like look I gave for the little face mask sculpture came out so I might have to play around with that more. And oh the halo. I made these little halo things and the glow effect. Ugh, you guys don't understand every time I open my phone I get to see all of this beauty come to life. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.